everyone! In this video I will show you how to set up gaming case NZXT H510i with Smart Device version 2 using open source application called Liquid CTL and Linux. I'm using Ubuntu with Kubuntu flavor, but same instructions should work for majority of Linux distributions. H510i is quite popular mid-tower gaming case, with two compartments, main one for CPU, GPU and cooling systems, and second where you install all your hard drives and power supply unit. It comes equipped with Smart Devices version 2, the fans and the LED controller. There is no Linux support out of the box, so if you are a Linux user, you won't be able to control the lights, neither the fans, and these two bulk fans can be really loud. And I will show you now how to solve it. This is how my build looks like and what can I say more? Let's start! To control our smart device version 2, we are going to use a liquid CTL available on both GitHub and Python PyP. Here I'm creating a dedicated Python virtual in V environment. I'm using VNV model, which is now a recommended way to create virtual environments. After activating virtual environment, my shell that is H notifies me about it by changing the prompt. Let's double check if our virtual ENV has been properly installed. Here I'm installing Liquid CTL within the pip. And now maybe a quick explanation. I'm using virtual environments for the flexibility, which gives me isolation of the Python installations. By creating a dedicated environment per application, I can ensure that there will be no conflict of dependencies, and I will have my installations in better control easier to manage. Let's check if it has been installed. First what we should do is to initialize our device. Liquid CTL has a dedicated command for it. Just remember to use super user privileges and to provide full path to the executable file. We haven't copied nor linked it yet.
just after initialization, we should here kind of restart of our funds. I guess they are reaching 100% of RPM and then they slow down to 50%. Let's check status of our device. It shows detected two fans working on 50% of the power. So, Smart Device version 2 has a dedicated GitHub page. You should definitely find a time to read it to understand how you can control your smart device in details. Let's try to animate our LEDs using following example. We will be controlling LED number 2, setting slow fading between two colors. And voila, lights are working! Ok, since Liquid CTL is working, we can jump into second phase of configuration, making Liquid CTL initializing our smart device during the computer startup. Since I'm using Ubuntu and it is using systemd, I have prepared an advanced service file for systemd. Let me copy it to the directory of Liquid CTL. Now let me review the file quickly. As you can see, it is quite minimal. There is provided description of the unit and links to the documentation. In the service section, there is a link to the executable and type equal one shot. This together with the remain after exit equal yes will allow systemd to report status properly. Explaining details of systemd is out of scope of this video, but you can always look into helpful documentation and of course ask me in the comments. So after ensuring that our new service file is correct, we still have two things to do. We should link Liquid CTL to some standard location like uh, user local bin and then enable our new systemd service. Here I'm linking Liquid CTL. Ok, system can find executable there. Now we will be enabling systemd. By default, the services files are stored in a lib systemd system directory, so we need to copy our link our previously created file. For the sake of simplicity, I link my file using ln command. Now we can enable and start our new service.
Let's see if it's working. Yes, we can see it's active. If you arrived to this moment of the video, I really need to thank you. It is my first published video on YouTube. I hope you really liked it. If you would like to see more tech, open source and Linux tutorials and solutions, let me know and subscribe. See you in the next video.